Hey guys, what is up? Today Apple released iOS 7 to developers and here it is. They announced it at WWDC this morning and now that I have my hands on it, I decided I'd uh, show you around the new interface and I'll be making videos later today on all the features. The first thing you can see right here is a little bit different for the lock screen. You sort of have a different battery icon, a different slide time lock. It's kind of invisible. You just slide it yourself. And then you have this little arrow where you can bring down notifica notification center. And then you can see here it says it's Monday, June 10th. I don't really have any notifications other than the default stocks, etc. that they put in there. And then right here you have a camera button. If I still believe, yes, it's pulling up. So if you pull that up, you can get uh, to the camera. But I'll be... Uh, Pushing it to the side, you can go either this way or that way when you're sliding to unlock, so that's a little bit new. And you can see here's a brand new interface. Now, one interesting thing is if you tilt your phone, you can sort of see how the icons stay uh, above the wallpaper. Well, that's another little feature they added. And you can see I have a sort of video wallpaper. It's called dynamic wallpaper in the background. That's another uh, new feature, low battery. The, this beta is probably going to drain the battery and it's very very laggy so that's one uh, really big issue so I don't recommend installing it on your main device but you can see right here you can't get the spotlight anymore going like that you gotta sort of like pull the device down and then you can get the spotlight and you can see this new keyboard that's sort of translucent but also pretty weird and because it lags I got stuck in that application. Anyways, so here's the main page. I guess I can go through every single or many of the applications. Here's the new calendar application. You can see it looks a lot different. There's no leather as they kept on referring to in a WWDC presentation, but I don't want to reveal uh, any awkward things or stuff if it syncs with my calendar, so I'll just go to the photos. So another interesting feature that it added towards the photos. It sort of tags uh, where you are to your event. So it says I took these pictures. It's kind of odd because yesterday I went on the train. I took these two walls on the train. I took these walls at San Francisco and they put them together even though they're not the exact same place but it's sort of the same trip so uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But that's sort of how it, it creates it into collections as you can see right there. And then uh, all my collections will be above that. So another new feature that got changed a lot is the camera. So you can see here's the camera application. You have a white uh, thing you click right there and then you slide this thing to go between photos and videos. You see here video you can see the full screen. This, the, a, a lot of these ideas are taken from jailbreak tweaks. So you can see here I can record something like that and stop it. You can also do a square because apparently they think that's what Instagram is good for more than just a social uh, aspect. But anyways, and then you can do a pano, which I'm pretty sure is a panorama, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. So another big feature is the weather application, or at least something that was changed a lot. You can see here it says mostly cloudy, and you sort of get uh, what the weather is like in the background. It's uh, pretty nice, and I haven't really played around with this yet, but you can switch back and forth between... Uh, your weathers. And I believe there's a way to get in all tiles, but I'm not sure how to do that. And uh, going into the next one, we have the clock application. As you can see, the design in all of these looks a little bit different. Sort of looks inspired by the Windows Phone, and then sort of a little bit of originality. And just, it just looks to me a little bit, a lot of, some things look really nice, and some things look really stupid. So, um, I really I know about that, but you can switch to alarm, stopwatch, you can see it looks a lot more simplistic in most applications, that's definitely uh, true. And then we can go into the Maps application, that's what it looks like, the Safari application where it has like a little different bar on the top, well, uh, etc. And I don't want to uh, give away my address or anything. But going into the videos, I think it'll look pretty much the same since the only thing I have is I guess a TV show that I downloaded. I guess it shows what's on your iCloud even if you didn't download it uh, recently or on this device. Now the notes application just looks a lot more simplistic. Uh, it has the new keyboard etc. I can even see uh, the Siri microphone looks a little bit different. Whoa that loading 
bar looks <laughs> different too. I don't know if it's going to work or not because the connection with Siri is really bad on iOS 7 for me at least. But we'll get out of that and then go to the reminders. So uh, in reminders it also features a totally different view. You sort of have these lists. Uh, everything sort of pops out of you. Everything's bigger and more simplistic. So uh, you can go into uh, list I guess and then add things to them. Uh, I'll also show you stocks. You see this is more has a darker theme. You can see uh, all the stocks on top and then I guess news information on the bottom. If we go into the game center, I keep on accidentally switching to the side. The game center I'm pretty sure I haven't even opened it yet. But I'm pretty sure it looks very uh, much like so you can see here sort of how the game looks or I mean the icon sorry and then you can see how many games you have and then you have these little animated bubbles that go around and you ultimately have like the same features you used to and just a different interface completely and um, all the lists they're really laggy because it's a beta but they all look very similar sort of like this different than uh, previously newsstand uh, someone's gonna find a way to hide that uh, iTunes, I believe, looks very similar to the App Store. I can pop it open right now. So you can see uh, you have the same tabs, just uh, this is just the different um, skin that you get with iOS 7. So, uh, movies. Movies goes into a dark version. It's sort of interesting uh, which ones they chose to be light and which ones they chose to be dark. And then if we go out of uh, iTunes, you can also see the animation between every app opening and closing sort of feels like you're inside, you're like the app is expanding and closing. They didn't have that before, more like all the apps move back and forth. So another new feature, uh, or another new feature included in the App Store is the Nearby Me, or Near Me, and I don't believe it's going to work until a lot of people get this because it only works on iOS 7. I'm probably the only one near myself. <laughs> Uh, that's on iOS 7. Anyways, it's gone back to a list in the app store. You don't have that sideways thing. I sort of like the list better. And then it also incorporates the design. Pretty much all the other tabs are pretty similar. Passbook, I don't have anything in it yet, so there's no real point. In the settings application, you can see you get these new toggles with this like little green uh, texture sort of the new toggle which will be pretty much everywhere in iOS and then you have uh, you can change like your control center uh, options and there's a few more options but it has the style too and other than that pretty much everything else is the same if you go into brightness and wallpaper you can see choose wallpaper you can get uh, dynamic right here which I have in the background of my device and you can see sort of changes, it goes really slowly, but it is a changing wallpaper. You can see the dock looks a little bit different. I can pop into, uh, I guess I should feature everything in this video. Just a really quick overview of every single application. I can go into my iPod, once again, has the same design. It also has radio, which is sort of like Pandora, where I can click on electronic radio, just something I made really quickly I don't want to get a copyright violation but you can see here's a little preview of the radio I think I tried skipping a lot to see and I think there is a limit on your skips so uh, here is uh, the radio and then pretty much everything else in the music app is the same we could pop into Safari where you can see uh, loading up jailbreaknation.com has a totally different design for this and is this button that pops up all your tabs? Well, there's one, and, whoa, oh, that's AirDrop, I guess, or sharing, I have no idea, but it's really laggy, so I'm just gonna preview that later. And then I can go into messages to sort of show uh, what the new messages system looks like. All right, so here's the messages application. If I just have a message with myself, I can send it. You can see sort of the skin is a lot different. When you get a notification up in the top, it looks a lot different. But this is uh, what the new uh, messages app looks like. Another few features uh, that the iPhone has in iOS 7 is when you double tap, you get to the multitasking, which sort of takes you to... Uh, this new area where you can see all the uh, views of the app on the top and then all the apps on the bottom and then if you swipe up from here you get to the control center where you have 
more options. It might be practical if it's not laggy, but it's such a pain when it's lagging. Uh, to finish it up, I guess I'll go into the extras. You have your contacts, which I'm not going to go into, and then you have your calculator. Now, the calculator just looks way simpler, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, that was our first look at iOS 7, and you can see the folder right there looks a little bit different. First look at iOS 7, we'll be making more videos. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys later.